What do you know about uh, Miami? Yeah, they're a really good offensive team. Um, all three of their guards are uh, score the ball at a high level. Uh, Moore, uh, Wong, and Augusti. Um, so they're a team that's really effective in transition. Um, they can really space you out defensively. Um, you know, they've had very few turnovers the last couple games, four and three, uh, as far as turning the ball over. So they do a great job taking care of the basketball. Um, they're, they're a good team. I mean, they've, they've had some really impactful wins. They're playing with a lot of confidence right now. They've, uh, they've got a veteran group, one of the older teams in all of college basketball. So a uh, really formidable challenge. You guys are in 11, Miami's at 10. It just seems like there's upsets happening, but are they really upsets or is there so much parity? I think there's there's teams that have maybe more perceived talent, maybe not as much experience in terms of age and, and veteran play and older guys. Uh, certainly chemistry and guys liking each other is a factor at this point in the year, guys playing together and with low ego. and. I think what some teams run into is you've got guys that are playing for things individually or they believe they are at this point in the year and teams that can be together uh, and, and stick to their identity and be who they can be are ones that are able to have some success. So I think that's where some of the parity comes in uh, when you look at some of the teams that have more of the perceived talent that haven't maybe gone quite as far. What's the challenge for your guys in staying focused when there's more media responsibilities, there's not the routine that you guys normally have for games? For these yeah, we've, we've tried to recreate the same routine that we have done throughout the course of the year. So even in terms of off days and uh, our recovery days and practices and things. So we're, we're pretty close to our regular routine and we'll continue to do that. Uh, our guys are a low ego group, so we feel confident uh, that when they have these type of uh, obligations or these opportunities, I should say, um, yeah, the opportunities <laughs> that they, uh, they understand um, you know, that it's, it's a credit to their work habits and the things they've been doing for a long time uh, and to not let it be a distraction or something that gets away from their focus. But they've been a group that has been really focused. Uh, I don't worry about that with our guys. It's more about uh, us continuing to reconnect to what our habits are that have made us successful and uh, continuing to do that here these days leading up to our game on Friday. At a time when some coaches at this, get to this point, they're tightening their rotation a little bit, you kind of get away. Why? Well, we look at each game as a unique opportunity and independent of the last. And what do we feel like gives us the, this, you know, the opportunity being the best chance to win? Some games it might be to play a bigger lineup. Another game might be to start somebody else for one reason or another. Another game it could be to play four guards for one, you know, for uh, something that we see on film. So we're fortunate to have that flexibility to be able to play games where. If we need to utilize more depth, we can. If we need to play certain guys, we can do that as well. Um, we've just looked at it one game at a time and never really gotten ahead of ourselves. It wasn't something that we planned to do or set out to do. Um, and so it's, it's something we'll continue to look at and what gives us the best chance to win come Friday. We talked a lot last week about you and Tyrese getting to go home this week. It's George who gets to go home. What's it like to see him get to do that as a senior? Yeah, it's pretty cool, certainly to, you know, play in your hometown um, in front of, you know, for me what was really neat is to have high school coaches, college coaches, grade school coaches there, uh, guys who have impacted me and made such a difference in my life. Uh, those are the ones that really matter because I want them to know. So hopefully for George it's that same thing, you know, some of those, those coaches or people that have impacted or influenced him through the years that have helped him get to where he is. Uh, for all of us, there needs to be a lot of you know, gratitude and humility for the opportunity that we have and, and then to make sure you stay in your zone of what you need to do to be successful. And Hopefully when you're going home, it gives you that little extra sense of pride to, to focus on details and do the things that you can do to, to be at your best. We talked a lot on Friday about the game Tyrese had, but on Sunday it was Gabe that really kind of shined through for you guys. What did you see for him? Yeah, really proud of Gabe. Um, certainly he's had some impactful games this year, had some big scoring ones. He seems to be uh, at his best when there uh, is somewhat of a personal challenger. He looks at the guy guarding him uh, or, or vice versa in a way because he's had those matchups, whether it was the Texas game, the Memphis game, uh, or that game uh, against Wisconsin. You look at some of those matchups, you can see Gabe's pride really kick in and he digs deep. So uh, it was huge for us. 
uh, it's also a credit to, to him for being ready for the opportunity and the, the, the part of our team where it's a very low ego group. Certainly, Isaiah's had many impactful games in terms of scoring the ball. Uh, Tyrese and Gabe have had their opportunities and moments as well. So uh, as much as I'm excited uh, or was excited for Gabe and how he stepped up in a major way, uh, really excited for our team that we continue to go to the guy who has it going and our guys um, don't get in the way of that. Many teams, guys have some personal agendas. We're fortunate to have guys that are that are right behind him. He pulls up for a transition three in the second half against Wisconsin. I think for most guys that have shot it the way that he shot it, you're not necessarily taking that shot in that moment. What's that say about his confidence that whatever the numbers are, he's ready to go? Well, it says a lot about his confidence. It says more about the work that he does every single day. And Gabe's a guy that as much as any, um, the ball's always bouncing in the gym. He's coming in early. He's staying late. He takes a lot of pride in, in continuing to put that work in regardless of what the results of a, a game have been or were. Um, you know, and, and we want Gabe to know and continue to know that we're really confident in him. And if we, if we didn't have that belief, uh, we would have a direct conversation about the shots that we're looking for and what ones he would take. But we know that he's proven uh, at points in his career that those are shots that he'll knock down. And we're going to continue to empower him to have that green light and, and confidence uh, at, at his highest level. George mentioned that there's a message for the Wisconsin team that you're scared to stay in the locker room. Why do you feel like that type of message does not just this group? Our guys have been the chip on the shoulder, the, the underdog, the group that's been down.